All right, well, you've seen more players in the NFL like Colin Kaepernick take a knee during the national anthem as a symbol of protest against social injustice. Their actions have caused controversy and others are following suit. That includes one 10-year-old girl from Pearland. She and her family claim the gesture was not well received by one of her teachers. Channel 2's Jake Reiner is live at the girls' school in Pearland with what the family said today. Jake. Good afternoon, Keith. After what Skyla Madria says she was fighting for what she believes in, the school district here in Pearland is going to allow her to kneel during the Pledge of Allegiance with the permission of her mother. Every morning at Alexander Middle School, students gather in the gym to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge, except for fifth grader Skyla Madria for the past two weeks. I did not really agree with the national anthem. Madria says she was first inspired by San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who kneeled during the anthem throughout the preseason and the opener Monday night in protest of racial oppression. There's also another reason. When I heard the third verse of the national anthem, I decided that's not right. The unspoken, hardly recognized, never sung third verse written by notorious slave owner Francis Scott Key, which reads, no refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. Why would we ask any African-American child or citizen to stand up and honor a flag with an anthem written by a slave owner who promised nothing but turmoil to blacks to the grave. Madria says when a PE coach asked her to stand up last Thursday, things got heated and he yelled. He told me you should respect my flag and respect my nation and you should stand up for this pledge. Paraland ISD responded in part, the teacher requested that the child stand and the child did so. The teacher did not touch or discipline the student in any way as alleged by Quanell X. The school district also said that they only recite the Pledge of Allegiance, the Texas Pledge, and then hold <clears throat> a moment of silence every morning. They do not play the national anthem. However, in the case of this 10-year-old, she is combining the Pledge of Allegiance with the national anthem as sort of a, a combined effort here of protest. Now what the family is asking for is an apology for how this was handled by the school district. Reporting live in Pearland, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.